है एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल इट्स ऑलमोस्ट द एंड ऑफ द फेब्रुवरी एंड वी हैड नथिंग स्पेशल टू डू सो वी वर एक्सप्लोरिंग यूट्यूब एंड वी केम अक्रॉस सम रोबोट्स एंड एफ पी वी वीडियोज एंड वी डिसाइडेड टू मेक एफ पी वी रोबोट टैंक सो लेट्स मेक इट We will need Shao ESP32 S3 sense board, LM293D motor driver, 9 volt battery, 2N20 motor and lipo battery, and some patience and efforts. And we have all, all the components on the table. So let's start the circuit assembly. We have connected motor to sense board using motor driver pins. One in pin one, two, three, four, and connected to pin D0, D2, D3, D4 of sense board. Check out the block for circuit diagram. So circuit is assembled now. Let's add solder to the circuit by uploading the code. Uploading is completed. Now let's power up the circuit for test. Connect mobile to the board using Wi-Fi and enter IP in the browser tab. Control dashboard will open. Let's check the control button to see if they are working. For forward button, board the motor should move in the forward direction. For back button, both the motors should be in the reverse direction. For right button, right motor should be in forward and left motor should be in the reverse. For left button, left motor should be in forward and right button in the reverse. And all the buttons are working fine. So let's see the stream. And yeah, stream is also working fine. Now we need body for the circuit to hide the jungle of fire. So let's heat up the printer and start 3D printing. So we are using Prusa i3 printer. There are six different parts. Choices here for color. Here we have used orange and black color for PLA for printing. So you can use any of them. So after hours of 3D printing, we finally got our 3D print. So let's assemble it. So first. We need to add tracks together with holding stick. We are using PLA. Yeah, so tracks are ready. So now let's connect the wheels to the chassis and motors to the wheel. There are two master wheels and two slave wheels. Master will be connected to the motors and slave will be connected to the chassis body. So this is what the body will look like after connecting the wheels. Now let's add battery inside the chassis and fix it with the battery holder. Now let's wrap up the track belt around the wheels. Yeah. Now connect the holders. Now let's take check the connections. Yeah, connections are working fine. Now let's test the robot tank and yeah, it's going moving forward, backward, left, right, stream is also fine and that's how FPV robot tank is completed, let's drive it. Yeah, we can see that it's moving and showing us the stream, so that's how you can make your FPV robot tank. 